name is Patch Overlord and welcome to one of the most longest and most thought out videos I've ever done in my life. Um, I'm here to expose and give out all the allegations and what I have found out about this disgusting human being. I have never done this before. This is my first time doing a long length video of any you know, kind or sort. you know. So I do have a pamphlet here full of the information because I cannot remember shit for the longest video that I've ever done probably. So, first we're going to start out with, uh, I don't know how to say this right, it's Pika, or Pikua, P-I-Q-A-R-L. Uh, so, what I have here is he, he started um, way back when, he started as a Rocket League streamer back in the day. Um, we have no idea, I have no idea when he started doing content, no, I, you know, I just don't know when he started. But um, he also went by Spook. Spook was the username that he went by along with aliases of uh, Pika QRL and a whole bunch of stuff, or however his name is said. Um, not much is known about his beginnings besides some Discord chat messages. He's, uh, he still has his Steam account, which is now named Pixie Paw. Um, hasn't really changed that. He also, I'll show you the screenshot where he has aliases around that same name. Um, and there's a lot of allegations back in the day of him trying to force himself upon uh, minors that were um, a part of his original Discord server because he started to gain popularity back in the day. So, um, sorry, this is my first time doing this, so it's a little, like, it's going to be really sparse and really, like, confusing, and I'm sorry about this, this is my first time doing this. Um, uh, racism was a big one. He did say, uh, he called I Show Speed the N-word. Um, if I can find that screenshot, you'll see it on screen right now. Um... There is a video, and I will mention this, it'll be in the description, this is Tonic's vid. He did a, if you want to know more about the Pika QL, uh, P, P, or whatever his fucking name is, I can't really say it right. But, um, Tonic did a very well thought out video on all the allegations of him texting minors and him trying to manipulate minors, and it's a whole bunch of madness that I never thought, and... Now I have on my thoughts about it. Uh, every section or every chapter of this video will have a my thoughts section. So it seems like he didn't really start out well. And he, uh, or, or right off the bat when he started doing his content and everything, he didn't start out big. But now that he gained popularity, I don't know why he resorted to wanting to text minors and all that stuff. It's very weird and disgusting. Um, <laughs> not something that I would do on my first starting out of, of my uh, popularity. I know you can even get a YouTube silver play button or nothing. But he does play Minecraft, so I guess it is kind of, you know, expected or whatnot. But, um, yeah, Tonic did a really good, I don't remember the full names and ev everybody that was about it this this whole video is going to be a lot of me yapping so i'm sorry it's not going to be 10 top tier quality but um so, uh, kind of, there was one thing that he mentioned was there was this person um that had a girlfriend and was a minor and he would go out of his way to say that um basically that he'd be his quote unquote mommy and everything even though this person had a very bad trauma from his mother and everything so he just kept on trying to go for it I'll probably throw up a screenshot here of him here is the uh, screenshot of the Twitter thread if you want to go check it out just like basically calling out and then trying to manipulate him to like leave his girlfriend even though they were in a happy relationship with each other which I mean, if you're in a happy relationship, go ahead, go for it. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise, but that's just disgusting that you want to try to go and try to ruin someone else's relationship. It's kind of fucked up. I like, imagine me being in love with somebody and then this person coming along and saying, hey, you know, I'm better. And he also says that relationships don't last, that it will fizzle out. doesn't fucking matter. You're still being really manipulative and really disgusting towards this person it's all, all 
It's not right. It's not, it's just, how can you do that to somebody? But anyway, um, with that being said, we're going to move on to chapter two. Um, sorry, if it's so, I'm so not used to this, but anyway, let's go. Yes, I'm also eight months sober off of Saturday which is the hardest drug to ever get off of. How hard is it for you to stop texting minors? <laughs> Welcome back to episode, chapter 2 of the video. Today we're going to be talking about Pixie Paul's allegations against me. So, because of the fact that I've been exposing him or her, or yeah, I do not know honestly, um, he decided to uh, throw allegations my way. He thought that he could call me out on some things that, you know, you have no... You know, you have no reason to be a part of because that's my personal life. I get to go into yours because yours is fucked up. Anyways, so here we're gonna, we're gonna go into a little backstory of me real quick. I'll make this quick because I know you guys want more info about Pixie Paul, not me. But um, his first, um, I, I so I was a drug addict, and he called me out for this. Yes, I was. I'm now cur I'm actually currently ten months as recording of this video. Um, sober off of fentanyl, which was, you know, make the fentanyl jokes all you want, you know, but, um, so back in the day, I was a drug addict on fentanyl, and I decided to take money from a family member, and they called me out for it, and I got arrested, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me, because I lived and learned, and I'm a lot healthier, if you see my screenshot of the video before the chapter of me, in the bad state that I was in. I was in a very shitty part of my life, but I'm better now. I uh, paid back, I'm actually almost off of probation. Everything's doing really well and I'm super excited about myself. You know, I've improved, I've done better. I'm like you, Pixie Paul, but you still text minors to this day as a recording because uh, it's, it's fucked up. I just hope we can get that account banned, you know? But um, <laughs> call me a scammer. She just saw a scammer because of the uh, money that of the uh, charges, but anyway, um, apparently never worked. So if you guys don't know, I'm currently I uh, on my social media, on my Instagram, I am called Instagram Mailman because I um, I basically make mail for a company called uh, I'm not gonna say the company's name, but I make envelopes for the postal service. They pay me good. They make 18 bucks an hour just sitting there making envelopes, which is a lot of fun. You know, I work 12-hour shifts uh, for four to five days a week. It just depends on what the week is and how busy it is. I make good money and I'm proud of myself and I've done a lot better in life. Anyway, um, him saying that I say false info, um, I would say it was if it was false info, I wouldn't be putting it into the video. Or, you know, I wouldn't be doing this whole thing if I was saying false info. Everything that I have is backed by a source. I am my source is the victims, and obviously I won't be saying their name. Um, but. Um, basically saying that I'm just lying for the clout. I, like, I want the popularity. I want to stand as a, a prime example of that there is bad people on the internet, you know, but we'll say that at the end of the video. Um, leeches off my parents. So my dad is currently a like, three-time war veteran. He's one of the best dads in the world. Um, I do not leech off of him, so I have to make my own money and everything. I don't leech off of him. So the only time that my dad ever took care of me is when I was at my lowest part of my life. You know, I was just getting out of jail. He got his connections set up, which made my life a little bit easier. That was the only time I've ever done it. My dad's a very strict and, strict and stern man. He is a very good man. He's one of the best fathers a man could ever ask for. He's very loving and supporting. Sure, during my addiction, I hated him. But that was because I had addiction clouding my eyes. And it, it gives me emotional, you know, because that's my fucking father. I love my father. My father is one of the best dads in the world, and I wouldn't trade him for the world. He, he's been there for me at my lowest and everything. But yeah, the whole time I was in the server, basically, um, I was undercover. Like after I, so I heard from old, multiple sources about the server. I wanted to get a deep dive into it. Heck, did I know what I'd be diving into? But I think that's about it for this point. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head on to chapter three. Those were pretty much my allegations. My thoughts is um, 
what I've done, I've learned, I've grown, and I've done better. You obviously see where I'm at now. I'm in a better place. I'm, I've got my own place. Everything's really good. It's a nice place. Um, basically renting, but it's, yeah. Um, I want to thank you all, and we'll move on to the next section. All right, we're moving on to chapter three. Um, so chapter three is called Pixie Paws Terrible Beginnings because so uh, he ended up doing a full reset. PKQL, Spook, all got fucking, he tried to delete all of his socials. He didn't want to get all the info out there even though we've got some good hive mind people that can use some multiple sources to give back those deleted info. So um, on, there's a lot of uh, different stuff and I'll be leaving a Google document one that is a copy of the one I have, so you guys can go crazy, buck wild reading and modifying it. I don't care what you do. Um, <laughs> I'll probably lock it so you guys can't get into it. But this will show a full list of everything that's been going on. If you need, if you need bigger proof, more than I'm already telling you, there is a Google document down below that will show you all of the allegations and all of the stuff that I've gathered afterwards. So, um, you guys can go check that out. But anyway, um, after his full reset, um, he, uh, yeah, he, he did that. Um, mods were, um, well, the server ran for, sorry, there's a lot of people in the house. Um, but um, there was other mods that were in the server before I joined. And they had end up talking. This, was, this goes into a lot of the... Um, the screenshots and this goes into a lot of the allegations towards Pixie Paw. Um, and he, uh, so the server ran for a bit. He ends up getting pinpointed um, for some of the stuff he said to certain server members. So his Discord server opened up to be 13 plus. He's so. He brings up the fact that the age of consent in Germany is 14. It is. Yes, he is not wrong. But the thing is, you need parental permission, otherwise it's statutory rape. If not, without the parent's permission, that is fucked up in pedophilia, no matter what. I don't care what you want to say, what you want to put, that doesn't matter. 13 plus or not, you're having other countries from around the world joining your server who don't have that same thing, so you're violating their their consent laws, which is all just fucked up. But anyway, I will be showing some screenshots of him basically saying that, and um, he plays it off. He obviously he wants to play it off and oh, the age of consent in Germany is this, and it doesn't matter. But that's it's all fucking gross. But anyway, so things start getting heated up into the server. Screenshots circulate and everything and. Here's the screenshots if you want to take a look at them. Look at them. Um, and uh, so after all this happens, there's a server started uh, um, that I am never really am still part of that we talk about all the allegations and stuff um, of the mods that got banned and we gather information and they were also a lot of the backbone along with Instagrams, uh, most of the Instagram victims coming forward to me and telling me all the stuff. I uh, would love to share some of the, sh I'm going to share the screenshots. Please do not harass or try to go after these people. Let, let it be known that do not harass any of the victims or individuals mentioned in the video. I'm going to be putting the pictures up. So, um, please, I will have to censor one of them because he's like my best friend. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, so we start, the server starts, so we start exposing him um, and all of that. And so he's got to shut down the server later on and kind of he's reset th three times now first for the Pika QL now for the mods uh, I guess it's two but inevitably shuts down the server for a couple months opens back up same allegations go in and he's trying to censor out all the information involving him involving the stuff that he's done and it's all just a bunch of fucked up madness and um, 
It's just... It's all fucking crazy. But we will get later on into uh, some of the stuff that I found about about Pixie Paul. This is going to be like kind of the ending. The, not to the ending, but near the ending. We'll find out everything that he did. But that was his beginnings. Kind of just what started this whole escalade of information coming out. He just didn't decide to quit. He wanted to continue, continue being a fucking pedo. And continue texting minors and... My whole thoughts on this whole Discord server, and okay, we'll save that for the thoughts. But um, that being said, we are, I think that's it for this chapter. We'll be moving on to uh, chapter four. Woo! Hello, everyone, and welcome to chapter four. This is when I joined the server. So, in order to get mod, in order for me to, mm, sorry about that. In order for me to join the server and get onto his side, I had to go out of my way and donate money. This was a way to earn his trust. I was going undercover, so I, I gave him a little bit of money, and that's how I became mod. It ended up working out, and I was able to get into the backlogs of all this, and it's kind of how I figured out a lot of my other info and stuff about all of this madness. So, um, I joined. I didn't expect to see what I did. Um, so he's got a lot of channels on the server that are really just fucked up and messed up. There's people posting pictures of themselves in skirts. So this do do I mind you that this is a femboy Discord server? So a lot of fucking mentally. I'm gonna pause the video real quick because I smell something. What the? I'm gonna pause. I smell something burning. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I thought I smelled something burning. It figures out that they started the fire pit outside. So, I was like, is my house on fire? <laughs> but anyways, uh, where were we? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so I ended up uh, joining the server. I paired up with some of the mods and we ended up digging into some of the background. And <laughs> Um, I basically went under, under uh, went in undercover, found a lot of really disgusting stuff. Um, yep, I got the uh, I call it the cringe trust because I I I I told her basically or him that we could rule the server together, you know. Just oh, I feel so icky doing that now. I hate siding with somebody as disgusting as that, but. Um, yeah, I had, I had to be, deal with everything that I did. Um, the info that I found was really scary. This will go into Chapter 5 of all, everything that I found out. But um, So I ended up getting on Pixie Paul's good side, found out that he uh, had a lot of mental disabilities and everything. And this will be like the fun part. Like The whole Chapter 5 is going to be the best part. So... Um, but this was kind of a short section. Jace, basically, I became a mod. I did it for a bit, and I inevitably ended up getting banned because I made some like I made some pretty bad jokes against some of the mod teams, especially this one, uh, Pigeon. There's a there's a mod on there named Pigeon. He's a or she. She's a real piece of shit. Um, basically, siding with a pedophile just because I don't know what you do to her. Pixie, the uh, it's like manipulation or something, but it's all out fucking weird and vile. And I just, I don't really want to get into it. This was kind of a short section, just basically saying how I and I believe Join found out that there's a bunch of really disgusting people there. A lot of uh, kids that don't know what it is like to be on the internet, or it, I want to say Gen Alpha, but I feel really bad if I say that because I don't, I don't want to put generational <laughs> bounds into this. But a lot of if you know a lot of kids nowadays, they are just glued to their TV screens and they can easily be, be manipulated nowadays. And it's all really, it's all just terrible. And I feel so fucking bad for, especially if you have to become a victim of this terrible fucking person. But with that being said, let's get into one of my favorite parts of the section of everything I found. And we're going to get to what the whole shebang of everything is. With that being said, thank you all. And I will see you all in chapter five. <laughs> Alright everyone, welcome to chapter 5. 
Chapter 5 will focus on mainly what I find interesting and what I find weird about what he says on the server. And a lot of this stuff can be found in the Google Doc, which is in the description. Make sure to go check that out if you want a full rundown of, of everything that I found. Um, so, this is the info that I got. So, this is basically the, what Pixie Paw has done and what I found out about him. So first we have Art Theft. So it figures out that um, his avatar is what I like to call like an NFT. There's different variations of it all look the same. But originally it was Art Theft. He used to trace over a lot of drawings. There was a lot of like weird screenshots that I found especially. And I found some original artists and people that have worked with him. And, like, and you can find a lot on the Twitter thread too. That he blatantly steals art on the PQQL if you search it up on Twitter and search up more info on that. Um, he, uh, he stole a lot of art in his past. He's a really fucked, like, really fucked up. Just didn't credit anybody, just traced over their art and said, oh, look at my art that I did. And, you know, artists don't like that at all. They think that's really messed up. And I don't think you should ever do that to an artist, especially. I, I commissioned an artist, uh, here recently. He was supposed to do, like, a JoJo thing. He's still working on it. I, I paid, like, $200 for it. I'm super excited. I'll show it on my Instagram when it's out. I don't probably not going to be done by the time this video comes out but um so this is the uh sexual and emotional manipulation of and this comes into a lot of the victim section of the video i had a couple friends come up to me and say yeah as a minor when they joined the server then you can find a lot of that on the uh twitter thread that i mentioned earlier of him sexually and emotionally manipulating to protect my friends and their names I'm not going to show their names in the video um, but you can blatantly search this all up and find out all about them and find out all the shitty things that they've done um, you can obviously go join the server you can see how fucked up that is too um, obviously their invites closed they probably closed down the server and he's focusing Mainly on apparently he said streaming. Um, I'm thinking he's streaming on Twitch and kick last time I checked So make sure to go check those out and report them and make sure he doesn't have any Right to continue streaming because he doesn't it's all fucking messed up um uh, Oh Yeah, so yeah a lot of the stuff that I said and then you obviously you saw that he admits to it He admits to all the stuff that he's done um, okay, now here's, here's the big one that we uh, saw, so disabilities. So there was a recent video on this channel called Meow. Um, he released a video saying that because of his many disabilities and stuff, um, is the reason why that he does the things he does. He's blaming mental, mental illness on the facts of his allegations i will leave a or i'll leave the video title up or i will post a link of it, the video in the description um of him basically saying that disabilities are the reason why he does the thing he does and he he won't stop because you know all the, all these disabilities that he has and so he comes up saying that he um he has heart like heart problems and you can see this in the doc, the document, that he has a bow, he has a bunch of heart problems. His heart ain't right. His heart don't work right. Oh, they give me talk about the fact that you make you drink Monster, which is like very not recommended for somebody who has heart problems, caffeine, sugar. That should, if you're diabetic or something like that, you shouldn't be drinking any of that. Why is it on your throne page? Why is it on this? Like, make, make that make sense. It, it, I, I just can't like why would you and then he constantly asks for donations obviously you have enough money to afford a streaming avatar you have enough money to afford a PC I don't even have a PC the, the video that I'm recording right now is on my phone I'm doing all this on my phone and you and I, uh, this is, yeah, sure, mine's a fucking good phone, but I have a job that's due for it. But like I said, the whole disability part, I have no idea if you do or don't have a disability. There was never proof. You never gave me proof of documents. And until I get that, I'm just going to say you don't have a disability because obviously you're drinking Monster. Obviously you have a PC 
if you don't have money, you'd sell your PC so you can afford it. You can always buy it back once things are better. That's what I would do if I was struggling. I I would like, I have my I have my Series S up there. If I was struggling that bad and I needed money, I'd give up gaming to make sure I was able to live. You know, I. And um, also another mention, also again inside, a lot of the stuff is in the Google document of this section. Um, he says apparently he relied on me for money. But I only gave you like a hundred bucks, and that was just to gain your fucking trust. And that was in order to get all this information in the first place. And you know what? It worked out for me in the end. Uh, sorry, notification on my Fitbit. Um, and really, this is on. This goes into the final section of everything that's gone down. Um, you, this, you know, there's a, a lot of this I would like to show, but there, I can't just because of how disgusting it is. But here's the best one. I knew I saved this one for last. Um, apparently he admits to, uh, going to court and having murdered somebody. Apparently he also told somebody that he knows how to cut up and bury a body. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you admit to that? But apparently, he told me that, oh, I'm on the run. I never got caught and everything, you know. And if I can find those screenshots, obviously, I'm going to put them up. But you obviously, you got, as, as I'm editing, I'll fucking put them in. But, yeah, you can see where I'm at, where this individual is not mentally, not mentally right, texting minors and wants to blame all of his disabilities as the reason why he's a pedophile and saying that he's not gonna quit. It, it, it makes no sense, make it make sense, you know? But anyway, that that's really much it, man. He's, he's, he's a horrible human being, manipulates, emotionally manipulates, um, does text a lot of minors. I just, I, I'd love to put a lot of the uh, screenshots up, but it, it, they're just too fucked up and too disgusting but I will leave the Google Doc to where you can see everything and see all the Im images and stuff. And you'll, you guys will see more. <sighs> Fuck it. I, you know, I'll, I'll put up these screenshots right now um, of what I got. So enjoy that fucking disgusting mess. With that, we're going to head on to my thoughts. This is around the end of the video. I thought this video was going to be around an hour. It's going to end up being like 30 or 40 minutes. But anyway, I'm going to go to editing now. <laughs> Well, we've reached the end, guys. I've really said about as much as I can really say, and as much as I can really give out, you know. I I don't know how any way else to explain it, but this person's horrible. This is a horrible human being that doesn't deserve to have access to the internet if he's going to utilize it to inflict trauma on children, inflict all this stuff on kids who don't know what the internet's like and are just starting to learn about who they are as a person. And you're taking, as in Pete's Paul's perspective, he's taking advantage of this. He's taking advantage of kids who don't know, don't know better, who think that it's hip and cool to do this. And I really, really hope that this video can help you understand why I'm trying to do this, why I'm trying to be the prime example of the, just to be the beacon of letting kids know that the internet is a scary place or scary people out there and they will they don't care about your well-being there's a lot of people on the internet and mostly almost everybody you mean on the internet will not care will not it's so much baffling and to go after this person has been exhausting for these past couple months I know this isn't the most extravagant video, but this is the first time I've, I've, I've ever done a video like this. I've ever done a video in general on like exposing somebody. So I hope that this video is hopefully help letting you know that I worked my butt off to try to help people and kids and whatever joins the internet. So my here's also my thoughts on Pixie Paul. 
if you're gonna run, here would be my intentions. Like if I if I were running a Discord server like this, okay, say that I'm allowing them to come join my server. Eighteen plus. You know, if you would have made your server eighteen plus with an age verification, that this video would never exist. But you decide to let it be 13 plus. You decide to let minors come in so you can take advantage, so your friends can take advantage, so your community can take advantage, so you can have this little circle of people who you can manipulate and make them believe that what you're doing is right, which is not. What you're doing is wrong, you're hurting, you're ruining people's lives, you're causing trauma that's inevitably irreversible. That may they have to talk to a therapist in the future. And you know they're gonna mention Pixie Pop and be like, this, this kid's fucking crazy, send them to the psych ward. Like you should be in. Pixie Paw. So that's that's really about it, guys. Um, I hope this video, I, it's not extravagant, I'm sorry. It's not amazing. But I hope this can serve an example and well being knowing that there are fucking disgusting people out there. And with that, I just, please be safe on the internet, guys. Please, for the love of Christ, be safe on the internet. I, there's a lot of stuff that I did leave out of the video, and that's for personal reasons. My friend's texting me at the fucking worst time. Stop texting me, okay? But, um, <laughs> I love you. Stop! Yeah, boy, you're, you're the reason why this ending's ruined. You know that? You, you bastard. <laughs> but anyway, with that being said, <laughs> yeah, boy's a really good man. He was sending me a lot of memes. Love him, dude. Um, but besides that, I hope you all enjoyed this 30 minutes of wildness madness. Um, I guess I'll see if you've seen you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye-bye. Stop! Stop!